Hi, this is Dr. Friedlander, and today I'd like to share with you the co-writer app from Don Johnston, which was uh, recently released. It's really exciting to see co-writer come to the iPad. Co-writer is probably the most used word prediction tool on Macs and PCs, and will certainly be a top contender on the iPad. So let's take a look at it. It's got a really easy to use interface and uh, you'll notice that as I start typing that uh, it will start to predict some words. So um, the first sentence I'm, I'm going to type is yesterday I went to, went to school. So I just tapped on that and I'm not a really good speller so you can see I can leave out some vowels and um, you'll notice that it puts yesterday right in the middle of the list. If I have difficulty reading, I can just swipe the words. It's yesterday. Oh, that's the one I want, so I select yesterday. it. The word I is there. I went is there. Went. Two is there. Two. School. If I spell school even phonetically, you'll see. School. Yesterday I went to school. And then it will read it um, as well. Uh, some of the really uh, exciting um, features can be found under the uh, topic dictionary. So I'm just going to tap on that. Uh, it comes with a very large set of built-in topic dictionaries. So if students are writing about, um, let's say, the weather, you can see we can turn on the topic dictionaries. So I turn that on. You also have control over the basic uh, dictionary. So anything from 1,000 to 3,000, 6, 12, and 40,000 words. And so let's just say uh, it was it was warm and sunny. It was. Warm and, and let's see, let's see, and sunny. Sunny. Outside. Outside. It was warm and sunny outside. So you can see how quickly a student would be able to type that sentence. I'm going to go back to topic dictionaries. One of the really exciting aspects of the topic dictionary is the idea of a, of a scraped topic dictionary. So if there's a topic that the student is writing about, say a current event, say let's say the crisis in, uh, in Syria today, um, what co-writer will do, it'll go out to the web and actually build the topic dictionary um, on the fly, um, which is really um, exciting, especially for students that might be writing on specific uh, topics which is great so for example if I wanted to I could you know just type the word Syria and you can see Syrian Civil War I can click on that and it will automatically uh, create a topic dictionary for me what's also um, really nice about this application it now supports um, both iCloud synchronization and also it will access your contacts so it will learn the names of um, individuals that are in your uh, contact database. When I'm through, one of the nice things I can do is export this. So if I click the export icon, um, you can see that I can export it to a message or to email. It supports Dropbox and Google. Uh, you can also tweet the message or send it to Facebook. And of course, you can print it. Um, or copy it um, as well. So a student, if they wanted to, could copy the text and let's say move it into pages if they were gonna, wanted to add some pictures. When I click home, a uh, very simple, easy to use dashboard puts the date uh, and the text uh, there. Uh, and to get started, just, just click and you can see how quickly it loads. So. CoWriter adds a, a very uh, powerful word prediction tool for students that need access to it. Also supports text to speech and also topic dictionaries. Take a look at CoWriter app for the iPad.